Hi. In previous video, we saw how to convert a simple boolean flag and array into a signal. And in this video, we will continue this assignment where we will have a parent component passing the post ID to a child component. We will convert that into signals and then we will try to fetch the post detail via new APIs of the Angular called resource and Rx resource. And we will see as soon as the value changes from parent, how can we call those API? Because I have been getting those kind of question in my previous video of resources that static values works, but what if user is passing different values? So let's try to cover this in this video. Let's let me walk you through the setup in my app component. I have a component called post list and in post list I have a if condition just to show that we are loading a message and there is a detail component here and here is the for loop where we look through the post and we show the title here like you can see title here and as soon as you click on any of the post we call the select post function we pass the selected post id to the post detail component wise property called post id and if i go to post id it's nothing but our traditional input property however i have marked a couple of parameters that this has to be provided that's why i said it's a required property and i have a getter and a setter function for this property because as soon as user provide a different value for post id i want to call the api which is written by this post service get post and in the get post i pass the id and i'm calling this url with the id to fetch the post details and this we can see in the demo here if i click on the different list item here and let me clean the network tab and if you click on this you can see we are calling the api with the parameter being passed three here now we have the four and so on okay so this is a traditional application of angular now let's try to convert this into the signal and array resources so first thing i want to do is i want to change my uh, traditional input into the signal input so i will say public post id is input dot required of type number and i should import this from angular core since this is a post id no longer a variable but of a getter function i need to provide it a parenthesis here now same will go for the using ts and here okay all we did we changed the input from decorator input to the input signals if i compile this and if you notice the output we will not get a network request anymore the reason being now we are on the input signal and under the chain detection on push so we are not getting the value being updated so as soon as we click on the parent here in the parent list we are calling the select post in select post we are setting the selected post id which is passed to the post id signal input which is not being updated so how can we fix this earlier version we had a setter property where we could call this function get fetch post but in the signal approach what we need to do is we need a constructor here and in the constructor i can put an effect and if i can just input the effect from angular.core i can just call this function now like same like i will say whenever post id's value is there non-zero i want to call fetch post that means i do not need this engine in it so let me comment this out and we can try to see if it works now okay 
so we can see the network we started to go through and we are having the new values here yeah we can go one step further we can mark this post as a signal again so we can say post is also of signal type and let me mark it as signal uh, okay we can read the error uh, initial value not provided we can say this is post or null and initial value is null that means we cannot use this this dot post as assignment but we need to call a set function on it and the next step we need to change the calling of the post as a getter function and no longer a variable so if we save this one and check the output here we should get the output again like if we see here we have the only signals now we are no longer using the post variable is a signal post and we are able to call the different apis so that is for the signal what about the resource api so what i want to do is i want to call the new resource api for fetching the post details for that what i will do is first thing i will do is i will define the variable called private read only read only post resource which is of type resource ref any and in the constructor i want to set this value so what i will say this dot post resource is equal to resource api and in the resource api i can pass an object before i pass the parameter let me include the package here i need a loader function first a loader function will return me a promise of post and let me try to convert this into post or null because it can be post or null and with that we should be able to fetch it with the fetch endpoint so in this post service where we're calling the observable we will try to define another function here which is like fetch post id number and we will not use observable here we will use promise so this should return as the return i will use the promise here let me let me take that one here okay so the url should be post url and id so let me replace the url to post url id that means now we are going to return promise of post so we are going to promise of post or null okay so let's save this one let's go back and here we can call uh, like this so what we're saying whenever there is a post id we want to call the fetch and the fetch should call the new post id this is for the resource definition is this 100 percent correct not yet we need to refactor it but let's go step by step so now we have the resource defined let's go to the next step and we will say our post is equal to computed and computed is another signal which keeps an eye on the other signal and here we say this dot post resource dot value or null okay that means we need to change our signature of post so this is no longer simply 
edit only but it is going to be a writable signal here so let me define a signal that I signal post or null and I need import this from the angular core so what change now we are calling this signal as a writable signal and in this post we are going to monitor the value change event uh, there is an error somewhere so fetch post uh, we do not need this function anymore we can comment this as well actually this whole block okay and let's save this let's see if it, this works so we are clicking on the different types but the request is not going through because the event which is changing this post id we are not capturing it so we define the resource but it's not going through this change detection here so what can we do we can try to define a another variable of the resource called request and request is another function where we can define a id which is going to be a post id and we will keep an eye on the post id signal from here so this request object we need to pass to the loader function now so this request is the parameter we passed here and it has a id property that means i can directly pass here request dot id now let's save this one and let's try to click on the items and we can see here we are able to get the new data using the resource api so now we can also replace this post id direct access to request.id and we can again try one more time we are able to call the request http network api with the resource api and as soon as we have this new value selected from parent it is being passed and we are calling the next api so you can see here initially we had the input signals that we just went through and we converted into a signal and now we do not need in on init anymore we do not need fetch post only in constructor we define a resource api we define the signal signal reading value into the request parameter and we call this request parameter in our fetch and here in the fetch we are calling this fetch api no longer http client that means in future you do not need http client at all you can directly work with the fetch by the way there is going to be a http resource api soon from the angular team maybe in 19.2 or somewhere so keep an eye on that we will create another video as soon as it's out so this is the way you can keep an eye on value being changing okay so your component which expect a parameter and based on that parameter you want to fetch something dynamically this is how you can go with signal and resource there has been another request or comments from the audiences that why are why are we using the fetch or a promise why i want to work with the observable so i don't want to define a promise which fetch the endpoint data i want to work with the observable so for that what we have to do is i will just comment this out actually let me just copy this first and then i will copy and comment this paste here we can work within another api from angular called rx rx resource and this we need to import from type it here somehow i'm not getting the intellisense for that and this will come from rx operator so this will come from angular slash 
just let me find it this will be from core slash rxjs interop interop angular spelling and components okay so we got an error let's see so now we have a rx resource rx resource expect a observable we are passing promise and that's the whole point of the rx resource that you want to work with promise you want to work with observable and not the promises so let's do that so here i was saying it will return promise so i will say it will return observable and i will call my previous get post method which was written returning me the observable pop post and instead of returning promise dot resolve here i will say off null this case will be for whenever i did zero or not true we want to return the null and if i save this value now we should see the same output as a resource api but this time we are working with the rx resource in the console if i just refresh it you can see in the parent component whenever we select click on the element we call this select post we push take a, put a console.log message we have the console.log message we pass this value to the parent via signal so uh, here is our post id input signal here and we are calling this api for the getting the details here with the value being changed from the parent so this is how you can do this using resource rx resource and signals if we just clean this up it will look like we don't need these values anymore so let me take it out all the effects and everything let me take out ng on in it and if you notice now our application is so clean now we do not need any change detection we don't need to have this detect change functionality we do not need a sync pipe operator if you work with rxjs you know you need to use this async pipe to subscribe to that you need to unsubscribe the resources and so on so this is going to be our simple rxjs and signal demo cool thank you